Right then. So let's see. Rifle shells. And apparently that's all we came in here for. Oh well. Oh, and somebody apparently wasn't dead enough. I'm hearing static. You were only mostly dead. Let's see if we can solve that problem of yours. Uh, time for another hallway full of cells. Wonderful. But this one seems somewhat quieter other than the stomping footprints. No static. And we've unlocked that door. Now here we have some static. We also get the Tablet of the Oppressor. There's magazines here, but we're apparently not interested. But the iron bar door is tightly closed. I can't force it open. We seem to be trapped. What'd you do, James? If you keep examining it, uh, examining it, it will eventually break. I don't know if there are any more of these that you can actually get into in this hallway. Oh, apparently we can. Four hundred thirty-six people at a recital. Burning Man. Look more like a burning house. Or some, th some kind of building. Uh, we just seem to keep centering on that one now. Oh, there's a different one. Woman in flight. All right. Nice to enjoy the prison artwork, I suppose. Oh, how many more times are you going to revive? You, sir, are getting annoying. This time, stay down. So now out here we have this big open area. Seemingly without much inside. Yep. Just one big empty room. There's where we came in. But if we look to the center, we find this. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. It's written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. Oh, we just happen to have some things that could go in there. So let's go ahead and put in the tablets. <coughs> it's 
Some rather strange noise going on in the background. Just one more to go. Charming. So what did this do for us? Anything up here? Well, there are three nooses, but no items or anything to get. But we can comically fall off if we're so inclined. But going back to the entrance, suddenly, we find a horseshoe on the door. It couldn't hurt to have a little good luck here and there. So with that, we've pretty much explored everywhere we can on this side. So let's check out this hallway toward the west. Apparently, the thing making that noise actually has a canon name. It's simply referred to as the prisoner. You can't even shoot it and silence it, but eh, there's no real need to. It's not like it ever actually gets in the way or anything. Ah, that door is broken. So let's see what we have over here. We have what appears to be one of those rooms where someone can come and talk with a convict. And we get a first aid kit. There's something on the other side, but we can't get it from here. Huh. Uh, something certainly tur uh, torn this room apart. This place seems a bit brighter and cheerier. Not quite as dark and dank as the rest of the prison. Here we can get to the other side of that room. And we claim a lighter. More and more, this is turning into Resident Evil. We can check out the bathrooms here. You can knock on the door here, but there's no real point to it other than occasionally a loud sound, but it doesn't actually do anything. Mainly just a spook event, basically. The men's restroom, on the other hand, has a save point. No more heroes reference is obvious. So that's really all there is to do there. We can also check out this door. And now this has some more important things in it. Including another lying figure. Let's dance, pal. Oh, you're crawling. Oh, get down and stay down. Ugh. And not a good time to read there, James, but fine. Let's go ahead and read. Toluca Lake, the town's main and tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the Little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. 
1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. The interesting thing of note about that is that was actually used as part of the plot for the Silent Hill arcade game. Though whether or not that's canon or not, uh, that's kind of up to interpretation. So, let's see. Got some rather nice items there, and we can go through this door. Shotgun shells, rifle shells, and finally, the rifle, and more ammo. <laughs> and handgun bullets. Man, we just found uh, the ammo stockpile. Excellent. Okay, I thought I saw, like, a health drink or something there. Apparently not. And we're not interested in that door, so let's go back out. And through here. That's broken. 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 and broken. However, there is this hatch down here. There's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left where there was probably once a handle. Time for a bit of MacGyvering. We have a wax doll. We have a cigarette lighter to melt it. And we have a horseshoe to make a makeshift handle. You have to have all three items and use them in combination. We'll ignore the fact that that would take a little while to actually harden. And let's jump in another hole, why not? Apparently James is enjoying doing this. <laughs>